Topic: History During the early years of spaceflight only nation states had the resources to develop and fly spacecraft. Both the U.S. space program and Soviet space program were operated using mainly military pilots as astronauts. During this period, no commercial space launches were available to private operators, and no private organization was able to offer space launches. In the 1980s, the European Space Agency created Arian Space, the world's first commercial space transportation company, and, following the Challenger disaster, the American government deregulated the American space transportation market as well. In the 1990s the Russian government sold their majority stake in RSC Energia to private investors although it has recently renationalized the Russian space sector in 2013–2014. These events for the first time allowed private organizations to purchase, develop and offer space launch services, beginning the period of private spaceflight in the late 1980s and early 1990s. <laughs> Satellite manufacturers There are eight major companies that build large, commercial, geosynchronous satellite platforms. In addition to those above, the following companies have successfully built and launched smaller satellite platforms. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Launch vehicle manufacturers and providers of third-party services. Commercial wings of national space agencies Aerospace Industrial Development Corporation and Taiwan Aerospace Industry Association Antrix Corporation India China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation People's Republic of China Lander, Rover and Probe Manufacturers Topic: Spacecraft component manufacturers. Topic: Propulsion manufacturers. Topic: See also. List of private spaceflight companies including only companies with primarily private funding and missions. Russian Aerospace Industry <laughs> <laughs>